I'm excited now to welcome Kat Matlock up to that you could make it. And Kat is the owner of West Asheville Yoga, but I think of Kat more as the spiritual leader of West Asheville Yoga, or really sort of the spiritual leader of West Asheville. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's totally, completely my honor to be here with you all. And I'm very excited that we have this space and so grateful to the wonderful volunteers at the Riverlink organization to take a space that maybe doesn't look sacred from the outside and help us to recognize that there is an opportunity to be blessed wherever we walk and um, to beautify and not only bring beauty to this place but also a place where we can come in deeply into our own hearts and that ultimately um, when we can come deeply into our own hearts and shine out from the light of the divine that lives within our hearts then we can truly experience peace and joy in our lives and this labyrinth is a place where we can come and come from the place of the hamster wheel of our minds where we have all of these thoughts that constantly go round and round the lists and the busyness and the things that we need to do and walk into the labyrinth and, and leave that behind and come into ourselves and our hearts and that all spiritual traditions really s distilled come down to love as much as you can. That ultimately we're here to love and to shine love. And so to live in a community where we have a space where we can come and, and get out of the trappings of our minds so that we can come more into our hearts speaks volumes to the amazing people in this community where we live. So I look forward to seeing you all here, uh, leaving your minds and coming into your hearts more fully. And in the yogic tradition, in the Hindu tradition, when a new beginning is happening, we salute Ganesha, the elephant-headed god. And Ganesha is known as the gatekeeper. He is the remover of obstacles, and he can also put obstacles in the way of something that's coming at you <laughs> that you'd rather not experience. So on this day, I'm going to do what's, what's called kind of the freight train mantra of Ganesha. Um, pardon? It's good. We're right here. Yeah, the train, train, train mantra of <laughs> Ganesha. A 32 syllabled mantra in Sanskrit, the language of yoga, this ancient language, um, to call to Ganesha to remove the obstacles for people to be able to come here and um, experience the beauty of this space and for them to be able to leave behind the things that are causing their hearts to close and more fully embrace the things that call our hearts to open. So I'm going to just do this three times. Um, so I invite you to stand tall and really take presence in the earth on where we stand. Allow your feet to connect deeply into the earth. And let your eyes close for a moment. And allow your breath to more fully expand your heart center, anahata in yoga. And just allow that expansion to come three times I'll do the mantra and just see your heart growing brighter and brighter. <clears throat> Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Ganeshvaraya Brahma Rupaya Chadave Sharva Siti Pradeshaya Vigneshaya Namo Namaha Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Ganeshvaraya Brahma Rupaya Chadave Sharva Siti Pranashaya Vigneshaya Namo Namaha Om Om Shreem Hreem Kleem Ganeshvaraya Brahma Rupaya Chadave Sharva Siddhi Pradeshaya Vigneshaya Namo Namaha Thank you so much. Namaste. 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 Namaste.